with personal trainer and co-owner Stephanie Perry from the Move Center in Fort Myers. That's right. This morning, she's getting us more on cardiovascular exercises we can do with our bodies. So hello, Stephanie, and happy Sunday. How are you? Good morning. Happy Sunday again. I'm doing well, thanks. So I know we're talking about some cardiovascular exercises, and I know that you have a few here that you're going to show us. So I was definitely a little interested in a couple things that, that you had mentioned when we were talking during our 6 o'clock hour, and that was your heart rate. So when you're doing these cardiovascular exercises, is there a key heart rate that you, know, you should try and stay in between depending on your age? Um, so there's a good way to find your um, target max heart rate, which would be 220 um, minus your age. That is going to give you your max heart rate. Um, depending on what your goal is, um, if your goal is to burn fat, then you want to be about 60% or 70% of that number. So 220 minus your age times 60 or 70%, depending on um, where you want to be. Um, so that's a good kind of um, tool to use to make sure your heart rate's in a good range. And also when you're doing these exercises or doing any kind of high intensity interval training, um, your rest time is really short. So you never really want your heart rate to drop too, too much. Like you can catch your breath for a few seconds and then you're going to get right back into it. So you're going to keep that heart rate up in the, that fat burning zone for a decent amount of time, preferably your whole workout. And so let's say we don't have a watch or anything to keep up with our heart rate. How do you know if you are overdoing it? Um, well, I mean, if you feel like a lot of the times when you're working out, you feel like your heart's pounding out of your chest. I mean, a good way to kind of check your own heart rate is to find your pulse in your wrist or even in your neck, um, count for 15 seconds, multiply that by four, and that will give you an idea of where you're at. Um, if you're, say, at your max heart rate and, you know, you're just fe feeling like you're, like, losing energy, um, then you want to rest and let it come down a little bit. Um, but keeping that heart rate up is, you know, really good for your cardiovascular endurance, um, your heart and lung health, and then um, just keeping that oxygen moving through your body. So what are some of these exercises? I know we had talked about them briefly here. Uh, you got some jumping jacks and some other things to show us. Sure. So um, earlier this morning, I did show you some jumping jacks and high knees, which are great ways um, to get your heart rate up and, you know, incorporating that into your workouts. I'm actually going to show you a few different exercises um, on for right now, um, I'm gonna show you some step ups. Now this is a great way, especially, it doesn't matter where you are in your fitness journey, if you're just beginning or if you're a little bit more advanced, a step up is a great way to get your heart rate up. So I have three boxes here, they're all different sizes. Um, so you can start with a nice small box. Um, this is about six inches. Um, and at home, you can stack up books, you can get a stool, just stepping up and driving that opposite knee up. And as you go, you can pick up the pace. Then once you feel comfortable, you can advance to taller boxes. Um, once you feel comfortable and you feel like kind of stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit, um, you can turn this into a box jump. So instead of stepping, we're just going to jump. And again, you can go up to the higher boxes um, the more comfortable you feel with it. Um, another thing I'm going to show you are toe taps. Again, these can be modified, scaled way down, or they can be uh, made to be a little bit more difficult. So if you're just beginning, you can do things just by tapping your feet on a ball. And then if you want to pick it up a little bit, now you just add that little bit of hop in there and get those arms going as well. This, you'll notice, is going to pick your heart rate up really, really fast. Um, so anything that you're going to do that's going to get that heart rate increased, um, those are going to be perfect little exercises to add into your workouts. Be creative with it because anything can turn into a cardio exercise. Now, Stephanie, we have a lot of things here. So for individuals, we had talked about it in the past, in the months past. If they don't have a box at home or if they don't have, you know, a medicine ball or something like that, what are some common household items that people can use in order to kind of keep that cardiovascular exercise, you know, going and really make it a routine in your everyday life? Mm -hmm. um, if you have any kind of uh, steps or stairs, I know there's not a whole lot of stairs in Florida, um, but anything that you can step up on, you can 
um, stack up a pile of books, uh, magazines, um, if you have a little step stool at home, anything that's going to give you, even if it's just a few inches, you can make that few inches really difficult. If you feel like it's too easy to step up and like I said, start jumping up on it. Um, so it doesn't have to be anything crazy or anything too high. Just look and see what you got around the house and uh, just try to make do with what you have. Now, we always want to thank Stephanie, Stephanie Perry, co-owner of the Move Center here in Fort Myers for your time this morning. And if you'd like to get some more information or to get in touch with Stephanie from the Move Center, you can shoot her an email. The email address is listed here right on your screen. You can get some healthy tips, personal training, and a lot more. But please note, it is by appointment only.